Hey, how you doing? So this week I watched a very interesting video by the Cinescaper and it was all about how he got rid of algae from his very large and very beautiful tank. And he had a list of some stuff that he did, the, the things that he thought were the things that helped him to get rid of the algae. So since I'm talking about balance right now, um, I thought I would just go over his points because they were very good points that he made. And uh, so I, I guess you could watch his video and hear what I have to say about it and think about it for yourself. So the first thing that he th did that he thought helped with his algae problem was to change the water. So now what does that have to do with balance? Okay, so changing water, that means you're trying to get rid of something. Sometimes to p put your tank back into balance, you have to get rid of something. So changing the water is just perfect. It's the perfect thing to do. Get rid of the bad stuff before you start adding the good stuff. So he got rid of some bad stuff from his aquarium. And then what did he do? He tested. And from the testing, he realized that he had to increase his fertilizers. So sometimes you think, well, I have algae because there's too much fertilizer in the water but you don't really know until you test, right? So testing is a perfect thing to do when you're trying to get balance into your aquarium. And notice that his tests were not from little strips of paper, okay? <laughs> I do that. That's something I would do. Don't do what I do. <laughs> get yourself a nice, I mean, if you don't have a problem with algae, that's fine. And I guess I, I don't have a problem with algae, so I think my strips are okay. But if you have a problem with algae and a consistent, you know, it's bothering you for a while, definitely get a test going, proper test, like uh, the master kits that you can get, right? So that's what he did. He had his master kit out and he did proper testing. And that's how he knew that he had to increase his fertilizers. Don't forget that what we're trying to do in a planted tank is to get the plants growing really fast. And that usually keeps the algae at bay. So he's trying to get his, his plants to grow fast. But the fertilizers are too low. So it's too low. He has to add more fertilizers because that's one third of the photosynthesis uh, process. Okay, photosynthesis is what? Nutrients, carbon dioxide, water, and some kind of light energy. So these are the four things that we have to, to do, you know, when we're, when we're trying to balance the tank. You have to think about those things. Now, I'm sure that the Cinescaper is not a beginner aquarist. He looks like he's at least intermediate, if not advanced. So, um, I was, you know, I was really interested to see that he was using glutaraldehyde because this is something I keep telling you guys. If you have a problem with algae, don't be afraid to use glutaraldehyde. It's something that can really help you get over a hump. Um, if you've got a problem with algae and you're struggling, yeah, go ahead. Just remember that there are some fish and some plants that can't handle it, okay? Um, he did something that I wouldn't do, which was to double dose. I don't really like that idea, but it didn't seem to do any harm in his aquarium. So maybe he's got hardy fish and hardy plants and the double dosing didn't seem to hurt his tank at all. It's not something I would do on a regular basis really because it is a harsh thing. It, you know, it will irritate the fish gills and it, um, you know, some plants just don't like it at all. So. 
it's hard on the things that are living in your aquarium. But if you have a problem, you know, it's, it's going to help you get over that hurdle. You just can't get over the hurdle, try glutaraldehyde. So the next thing he talked about was carbon dioxide injection. And that's one of my favorite things. You know that I think every tank should have carbon dioxide added. So even if you have mycorrhizae in your substrate, you know, you can still use carbon dioxide because that was another thing that I saw this week was a scientific paper about combining carbon dioxide and mycorrhizae. So the two things added together will more than double your, the growth of your plants. So whatever growth you would get with carbon dioxide and the growth that you would get with mycorrhizae, combine them and increase that and that's what you will get when you do both. And don't forget that will throw your balance off because now your plants are growing even faster than they were. So you have to check that your lighting and your fertilizing and you know everything else is sometimes even the temperature of your tank. Now the temperature you can't fiddle with too much because your inhabitants may not like a different temperature so so maybe not so much temperature but definitely check your lighting and your fertilizers if you're going to increase uh, the growth rate. Carbon dioxide plus mycorrhizae makes for amazing growth. So make sure they have enough fertilizer and light to get on with the job. And then the last point that he had on his list was reducing the light. Yep, most of us want to you know, over light our tanks. I was amazed. I mean, I've read so much about lighting, but before I never used to calculate how many uh, lumens my tank was getting. Never did that until recently. It's amazing how low light is enough or even too much sometimes. You should definitely find out more about lumens and do some calculations and see whether you're getting um, the right amount of lumens. Because most of the time we're not, not going to get, it's not going to be too low. Many times it's just too high what we're putting on. We're lighting the tank too, um, too strongly and we're lighting the tank for too long. So those are the things that you think about when you're lighting. You think about the intensity and the duration of the lighting cycle. Okay, so make sure you do some ca actual calculations and not, not just what looks good to you. Uh, no, your, your plants, you know, your plants are not going to like you too much if you don't do your calculation, okay? <laughs> All right, so that was the list, that was the list that he had of things that he thought really helped to um, send that algae into remission. And um, yeah, there are things that I really agree with, I think you know, we should all be thinking of those things. Make sure that they're in balance. Okay. Okay. Talk to you next time then. In the meantime, happy fish keeping. Have a great week. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.